This is a quick intro to Automate.io, which will show how you can build custom integrations across your cloud apps. With Automate, you can build simple one-to-one -one integrations or build multi-step workflow integrations. We call these integrations bots. For example, let's say you want to build a bot like this between Wufu and Salesforce, where, when the user fills in a form on Wufu, a contact is automatically created in Salesforce. Or, you want to extend the same principle to something like this. After creating the Salesforce contact, a two-minute pause is introduced before a welcome email is sent to the user. Let's see how you can build this bot in Automate.io. Firstly, click on the Apps tab to add the apps you need. We've already added the required apps, but adding new ones is simple. Just click the Add App button and all supported apps will be displayed. Choose the ones required and fill in your credentials. Once you have all of your apps added, you are ready to create bots. Select the Bots tab and you'll see any currently created bots as well as the option to add a new bot. Click the Add button. For your new bot, you need to select the Trigger event, which means when the bot should start. In our case, it's a Wufu form submission. So, select the app as Wufu, select the trigger as new form entry, then select the specific form. Here we'll use contact us. What you see here below is the data coming from the Wufu form. The Wufu form has fields like name, email and phone, etc. We'll see how we can use this later. The trigger is now set up. Now it's time to define an action for the bot. Click add action. We want to create a contact in the Salesforce app, so the required action is Create Contact. We can map the form data from the Wufu form into the appropriate fields in Salesforce. So, for the new contact, the name will be the name entered in the Wufu form. Simply drag and drop the name field to link it to Salesforce. The same applies for the email address, and if required, you can add your own info to the description to identify that the contact was added from the web form. That's it, the action is created. Now this is a simple bot in itself, but you can also extend it into a workflow. It is often desirable to send a confirmation email after a short delay. Here we'll set the workflow to send such an email two minutes after the form submission. Simply add an action for wait, select the app as system action, select the wait action, and enter the time as two minutes. To send the email, we can tell the system to use Gmail with the send email action. Fill in the fields that will display who the email is from and the reply address. The recipient's details can be pulled from the Wufu form by dragging and dropping as before. Link the name field from the Wufu form to the recipient name in Gmail and add the recipient address in the same way. Then fill out the desired subject and body text, for example with a personalized thank you message of some kind. To do this, enter your message and where you need the recipient's name to be used, drag and drop the data from the name field of the Wufu form. That's it, your workflow bot is ready. Now save it and you're done.